Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. Today is already my last whole day in Salt Lake because of work. I flew across the country for literally a weekend, but it'll be nice to see the dogs again on Sunday. It's weird just being a few days away from them is like so hard and we love them so much. We were talking at dinner how much we love them. But um, Steven is going to spend his day skiing. I am not a skier. I have an injured knee that I am not willing to injure more, so I will not be partaking in that. However, I'm gonna do some exploring myself. Steven drove me around to familiarize myself with um, the area so that I can go and explore some stores and do some shopping. And I'm going to find a fire pit somewhere and read. They have so many fire pits um, everywhere, but it is super, super cold here and it's kind of my jam. I love cold weather. I would take snowy mountains over a beach any day. And I know that most of you probably prefer like beaches in tropic locations. That's not me. I love cold. I love rainy. I love snowy. Is anyone with me? I just love it. Over, I don't know if I can get it. I think you could see that like right there. Um, all the gondolas are starting to go already. And, um, oh, there's some skiers in them already. So some people are already hitting the slope. I am making some coffee while Steven sleeps. I'll just say, so simple Keurig machine here. The coffee is delicious. I am telling you, whenever you are traveling or going somewhere, the coffee always tastes better. And when I make coffee at home, some days it tastes like sunshine in a cup. In other days, I can't even finish it. Coffee away always tastes better than coffee at home. Write a comment if you agree with me. Steven is just getting ready. It is not even 9 a.m. yet, but he is getting ready to go hit the slopes. I'll have him give a ski report later this evening. After he gets ready, I'm gonna get ready. And then I'll head out. I just watched A Christmas to Remember, Kenny Dolly special on YouTube, and it like brought back so much memories. Steven and I were talking. Um, growing up, we didn't have a lot, and we just had like an antenna that was on our trailer, and um, we only got two channels. We got NBC and CBS, so like Christmas specials and all those things. I often wasn't able to watch them, but my grandmother would record everything on VHS tapes. She recorded Dolly Parton specials, figure skating championships, all the things that like I could never watch, she would record on VHS tapes, and I would have like a whole set of VHS tapes that she would have, and sometimes she would try to cut the commercial out of it if she was watching it too, but then would hit record and it would take some time to pick up, so you miss like the first 30 seconds of whatever it was. Um, but we were just talking about like those memories and it was so good to just watch and sing along and Steven enjoyed it too. He woke up and saw probably the second half of it, but I linked it on my Instagram because if you want to watch it and I'll be watching it again this holiday, uh, they're available on YouTube. So that was a beautiful way to start the day. We're just watching the ski slopes and some skiers coming down. Everyone is getting moving on this Saturday. The last Saturday, well I guess it's not the last Saturday before Christmas, because next Saturday is the, they're calling this Super Saturday, like the last big Saturday shopping day before Christmas. I don't have any more gifts to buy. I've bought all my gifts. Um, actually last night I purchased Steven's last one and my mom and dad's Christmas gift. So those are all done. I have all my shopping done and almost all wrapped as well. I'm just gonna go and explore today and see if I find something that strikes me for someone or myself, because I feel like you should be gifting yourself some things this time of year as well, because you've done a great job. All right, I'm gonna just tidy up around here and then keep it moving. Hey friends, I am back. It's after 12 o'clock. I spent a lot of time just driving around and looking and taking some photos because it is just so, so beautiful. I've talked to Steven a couple times and he is having an absolute awesome time. Here's the proof. So here I am, I'm at the top of the mountain. Uh, I'm on the 
green circle, blue square hill, high meadow peak uh, at Park City. I'm just starting out, um, having fun and just loving it. The scenery is gorgeous. As you can see behind me, you can see all the mountains. And then I'm gonna go down on that one, come back up to the ski lift, try it again, then try another trail. So here I am, wiped out on a mountainside, taking a breather. I crashed, uh, but uh, the scenery is beautiful and I just need to make it down to that rest area. Um, I thought this was a blue square, but it looks like a black diamond. I don't know. The directions are very confusing and I have been unable to get up for the last two minutes um, with these skis on. Um, but anyway, nothing's broken and um, I'll catch my breath and continue on. There is the slope that I'm currently stuck on. As you can see, this way up there. So here we go, back down. Enough skiing for today. I didn't do a ton of shopping. I went to a Starbucks and bought coffee for a bunch of people there, which they were so appreciative. I was walking through this store. I burst out laughing at this sweatshirt. I had to get it. It just made me laugh so hard. So I picked that up. And then while Steven was skiing, I wanted to get him something. So I have a little gift for when he comes back. Look at this beautiful hat. So this is leather with like a leather tag that has stamped Utah and established in 1896. And then I also picked him up. He loves a long sleeve t-shirt. So I picked him up a long sleeve t-shirt as well for him to enjoy. But I think he'll really like the cap. On the weekend, sometimes he likes to throw on a baseball cap when he walks the dogs. So I thought that'd be a really nice one. And then, as I was driving, you guys know, I buy from World Market a lot, but I don't have any stores in my area. When I lived in Charlotte, I used to live right next to one. So it's been so long since I've been in like a brick and mortar store. So I had the chance to do it, so I took advantage of it. I left my mask on the plane, so I did grab some more masks for the plane ride back. They also have some of the best bath like items at a really reasonable price. So I got this back scrubber. I'm gonna try to link some of these items. They would be great to put a spa gift together. So I bought that. I did buy some eye masks. So I love to have extras on hand. Um, and then I also bought a pumice stone. I found this um, dry brush that has like massaging like little nodules in it, which I thought was amazing. So I got that. This is random and silly, but I need two brass knobs. And I was going to order some from Anthropology. I was walking through and they had them. So I was like, I'll grab that. And then I got myself this. It is an alpaca wool scarf. Like look how pretty. I'm not a big fringe fan on a scarf, but I do love like a wide and like separated fringe, but it has pockets. And I've been looking at a scarf that has pockets. So I grabbed this and it's like a really nice width. So excited about this. It's just, it's really, really beautiful. They had the Terry oranges. Like I cannot kid you. So I of course grabbed one. We're gonna save it for Christmas day, but it just made me laugh after telling you guys that story. But that's all I bought. I just didn't feel like shopping a whole bunch. I walked a lot. I think I walked, yeah, I've already hit my 10,000 steps for the day. So I just spent my time walking, which is what I wanted for my soul. Throughout the day too, I, I probably pushed like 
seven carts um, of people who either had their hands full or were walking their cart back and I would just like grab their cart and walk it back and then I got myself caught like in a in a train of like kindness because I took one cart back and then I was going and then another person was walking I was like well I just did theirs so I'll do theirs and I did like three in a row but um yeah I spent most of my time just walking around enjoying taking some photos of the mountains and just like enjoying some driving time too while singing so now I'm just hanging out and I might read a little bit. And this trip this weekend is really about finding some rest for myself after what you guys have seen has been a month of just like non-stop going. And even though traveling here was non-stop going, it's been really nice to just be somewhere where I don't have any obligations to fill except to enjoy time with Steven and myself. I wish I was a skier and had better knees and could be there with him, but like, not risking getting hurt. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna chill out for a little bit. So, <laughs> Steven is back. How are you doing? I'm very sore. He has literally skied eight hours, almost eight hours today. Yeah, almost. I got you a gift. So while you were skiing, living your best life, I went shopping. So I got you this. Oh, Park City. Oh, a long sleeve t-shirt. Yeah, and it doesn't have holes in the elbow. Oh, <laughs> Did you see the one I took yes. out? Yes. Was that from Thank Mabel? Uh, yes, it was from Mabel, yes. So I know you love a long sleeve t-shirt, so I got you that, and I got you one more thing in there. Oh, a hat. Because sometimes you wear a hat, like a baseball cap on the yeah, weekend, and I thought that one was like so nice. Thank oh, it looks good on you. It looks very nice, thank you. You're welcome. What's the best story of today? Um. I would say uh, riding up the ski lift with the six-year-old who <laughs> skied better than I did. Um, falling down the hill halfway when I couldn't read the map because I had my contacts in and up my glasses and I can't read up close. So I took the longer, harder route down and it was very steep. So I tumbled down the hill. Um, but would you do it again and do you yeah, have fun? Yeah. Oh, I lost my skis. Um, I forgot where I put them because I went in to have lunch because they have like hamburgers and stuff. Oh, good, good, good. Why? I was like, where are you? I didn't realize there would be like stuff on the slopes. I was like, oh, where yeah, are you there eating? Were, there was stuff on the slopes. It was a $38 hamburger. Was it good though? No, I mean, yes, but it wasn't $38. Um, then it was sort of like the Grand Canyon. It was like a big, it wasn't like a... Uh, it wasn't like a fancy restaurant, but would, you would get a three day dinner. Oh, there. I remember the Grand Canyon. It, it was a, a cafeteria, like, yeah, yes. it was a cafeteria. And it was, I was balancing my tray walking in these ski boots, and I already had blisters by then. And, um, yeah, so anyway, by they have all these ski racks, and I forgot what my where I put my skis, mm -hmm. but I knew what they looked like. Yeah. But there are a lot of skis that look the same. Yeah. So I kept on going back to one that said Gale on it. And I'm like, maybe this is it. You know, maybe. How did you finally find them? I went, um, cause I, you have to match the poles and the skis. So it's sort of like doing a, like a mental exercise. So I matched my poles and my skis and I finally, it was in a different part of where I thought I'd put them. The one, I thought I was gonna take Gale skis and just use hers. <laughs> so. I thought we'd go for a hike. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm very dehydrated because I, that greasy hamburger and water up there was like, everything was super expensive but they get carted up on the, on the gondolas. So. Well, I'm glad you had a good day. We're gonna have a very chill night tonight because we have to get up super early. Are you happy we came? Yeah. Me too. I feel I, much I, more relaxed. I can barely move. And I slept so well. The plane ride tomorrow is gonna be rough on you. So we are going to have a really chill evening. I, Steven's probably going to take a nap. We're gonna eat dinner in here. And um, yeah, we get up really early to catch our flight home. It was a lot of traveling for a weekend, but I would do it all over again because it has been very restful. So I'm gonna end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>